Hey guys, this is BMB and another tutorial. We will start with the winners list of our giveaway program, so congratulations for all the winners. Do not miss the chance to be the winner of this month too, so all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification button to be informed when we post our next video to announce the list of winners. About the gifts, we will select one of the posted comments of this video and we will send to that lucky person an Arduino board and then we will select 4 other comments to win a 30 US dollars free coupons that you can use to order some PCBs from GLC PCB and we will provide also coupon codes for PCB ordering discount in every video we post. As I told you, all what you need to do is to write a comment right down in this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. After this Mars model robot that we assembled last time, today's project is also about robots learning and we will use the auto robot model in this video and it's gonna be a really amazing project so let's get started. Starting with the project description, as I said already we will reproduce the auto robot model that you can have its 3D designed parts for free from the auto community. But what we will add in our project is a customized PCB design to control the robot so we will use the ATmega328 microcontroller instead of using a whole Arduino Nano board the way the community did for this project. The robot has many features and you will like its movements performed by 4 servo motors and its sounds displayed through an active buzzer. The robot will be powered by a simple 9 volt lithium battery and controlled by a Bluetooth module through an Android app that you can download directly for free from Play Store and App Store. You can find in the description below all the required links. In order to gather all these components together, I choose to create my own PCB design for this project and produce it from GLC PCB. I move it to EasyEDA platform where I prepare the following circuit diagram. And as you can see here, all the components that we will need are in this circuit. Then I transformed the circuit design into a PCB design with the required dimensions to feed the robot chassis. The next step is generating the Gerber files for the PCB design and upload it in GLC PCB order page to produce the PCB. Four days to wait for the PCBs and here we are. This is the first time we tried the yellow color for the PCBs and it really looks so great. Moving to the robot body parts, as I already mentioned it in the presentation, you could have the STL files of this robot from the Auto Community website in order to produce these parts through a 3D printer. Now we have everything ready to go, so let's review the components list. So we will need the PCB that we have ordered from GLC PCB, 80 mega 328 microcontroller, AC05 Bluetooth module, ultrasonic sensor, 4 servo motors, 22 picofarad capacitors, 10 microfarad capacitors, an oscillator, L7805 voltage regulator, a buzzer, 9 volt battery, heater connector, and the robot 3D printed parts. You can find in the description of this video all ordering links in case you wanna buy the same components as mine. Now let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB.
I have soldered each component to its placement. About this PCB, it's a two layers PCB. This means that you can use both sides of it to solder your electronic components. After finishing the PCB assembly, we need to upload the robot code to the microcontroller, so we will need the Arduino Uno to do this. About the robot software, you can use the Arduino IDE to upload your code, or you can simply download the Auto Blockly IDE, which will assist you with some examples to start making your own program for the robot. In our case, we will upload this code provided by the community. This code allows me to access all the robot features from the Android app. After uploading the code, we put back the microcontroller to its socket on our electronic board and this way the electronic part is ready and we move to the robot body assembly. Before starting the assembly, I advise you to calibrate all your servo motors to 90 degree angle. Just use a basic Arduino servo demo to do this. The assembly is just couldn't be easier than this. Just take the robot body and two servo motors and screw them from the top side. Then join the legs to the assembled servos to control the legs movements. The next step is joining the other two servos to the legs and attach the foot parts to the servos and this way you will have one servo for each leg and one servo for each foot. The next part is the ultrasonic sensor that we will put on the head of our robot. Last step is connecting the ultrasonic sensor to its connector and connect the servo motors to the PCB. You can refer to the code where you will find the appropriate symbol for each servo and you will find the same label on the top side of the PCB that we produced. After connecting the battery, we attach the head of the robot to the body. And we can start playing with our robot. I already enjoyed this project and I hope to see you guys producing this kind of robots but still some other improvements to perform in our project in order to make it much more better. That's why I will be waiting for your comments to improve it. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the chance to be the month winner of the giveaway program. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas. See you next time.